Okay, this handy dandy thing here says that my uh, temperature has gotten up to a little bit higher than what we want, but I'm gonna make adjustment in a few minutes. But we're at 283 and our set temperature is 275. This alarmed and said, we're ready to put this brisket on that pit. Now, remember the fat side, this is a fat side, the stuff we trimmed all the fat off of, fat's gotta be pointing up. So, we're just gonna take this on out the door and we're ready to start our brisket. It's at room temperature, the brisket is. Be a waiter of some sort here to not get the juices going on over the floor. See our alarm outside is saying, hey, we're where we need to be. A little high. So put this on the grill. We're gonna put this temperature probe inside the meat because we want it to be 160 before we wrap it in non-wax butcher paper. So the probe is in, you can see the probe. This is the probe that is measuring the, uh, the same as the uh, smoker's probe. It's real close to it. And it says we need to shut the door because we're letting all the heat out. So this comes back around. It says the meat's at 46, and that's not quite true. I just put the probe in there. It says because my door was open, we were at 244. It says we're at 268 there. We need to be at 275. See the temperature starting to rise, raise up because we shut the door, and it's going to be back up there. So now we're at said 250 just a few degrees apart. I'm gonna cook it for maybe four hours. When that internal temperature says 160, we're gonna come back out here and wrap it with butcher paper, non-wax butcher paper. That allows it to breathe and not steam. So we're 257, we're gonna kind of watch this, but anyway, we'll be back in four hours to wrap it and show you what we do. All right, thank you for watching.